Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the PBS S, the potential Bigfoot Sasquatch show here at Holmes. That's why I went and got the camera. Here at Homesteading Off the Grid on YouTube. Guys, we're doing something a little differently today. Behind me is an area of perhaps the most activity on our property as far as unexplained events, unexplainable events, strange things. Uh, if you've been following the channel for a while, you know this is where we've heard what has sounded like mysterious creatures screaming from the forest behind this log. Uh, back this past, getting, I'm sorry. And uh, anyway, lost my train of thought for a minute, got a little lightheaded. But um, this winter I told the story about how we would often find so many bones back here behind this log where some springs come out, looks like an old well house at an old abandoned home, home site that's probably was there a hundred years ago. I go out of my way to avoid this area, but I've been more and more curious as as time has gone on and the longer we've been here and the more of these events that have happened. So what I'm going to do today is I'm actually taking a metal detector back there and I'm going to see if I can find anything using a metal detector. However, the things I expect we may find or that we may not find or some of the things we may or may not see or hear won't be picked up by this because they're probably not metallic. And if you've been following this channel and this these series of shows for some time you know exactly what I mean so as always as I move down into the into this place behind this log and start doing my thing with the metal detector I'm gonna ask that you get my six cuz he she it or they probably will be Okay guys, I want to kind of give you the lay of the land. There's gnats everywhere. It's mid-afternoon and it's 93 degrees and we're by a creek. Here's one of the, the two creeks that formed to come together to feed our pond down here. You might not be able to see it in the camera, but right here is an abandoned well house. Water does come out of here. It's like a natural spring that was blocked up many, many years ago. And then there's some old springs around here. I'm right behind this big log. I'm gonna try not to disturb the camera too much, but I'm resting the camera on this giant log that you just saw behind me in the first shot because this is where, I don't know if you saw the particular video, but in the past I would find bones down here in, the, in these spring wells. And I used to take them, but I stopped because when I, when I would take them, like just a couple of days later, I'd come down and find that there would just be more there. And they were old bones. They were not new bones from where like maybe a predator had gone out and made a clean kill. Uh, they had been picked dry, sun dried for some time. So any, anyhow, here comes the creek bed right here. And we have found some relics in this creek bed. We found Coca-Cola bottles uh, that say they were formed in Charlottesville, Virginia, which is of course the capital seat of our county here. And um, we we did our research and found out that that coca-cola bottling company shut down in the early 70s so those those bottles were at least 40 some years old and not here but just downstream from here when i was planting a tree earlier this year i found civil war shot uh grape shot from the civil war so <clears throat> I'm thinking there might be some Civil War relics back here. There might be some metal relics going back to the first part of the most recent century or the last century. But regardless, let's see if we can find anything. And as always, get my six. Keep your eyes open and see if anybody's watching. Can't go anywhere without this. I might need it.
Well, I found something kind of interesting. It doesn't even need to be dug up and it is metal. And guys, this just goes to show you how little one may actually know his or her property depending upon how thoroughly you've gotten out here and looked. And also too, it can show you, be an example of how often things shift and change with floods, with water, snow melt off. But check this out. <clears throat> This, my red circle over there, appears to be an old, maybe a vehicle, axle from a vehicle. Let's see if we can get some close-ups here. And as you can see, we're in the woods. Oh, yeah, that's heavy. Look at that. It's like the, uh, maybe where the wheel would have gone solid metal solid steel you look all around me here's my brush pile from where i put the limbs of the the white pine tree that bigfoot sasquatch potentially threw at my house back in february but we're under a canopy we're fully forested right here at the edge of the field and right down here is the uh old water well house i told you about look at that Ooh, and there went a frog. See there? So I have reason to believe there used to be a house right around here because if you look at this plant, I didn't bring my red circle, hold on. Buried here in these briars. You see, this is one of those plants that, uh, I forget the name of it, but they grow this big, tall stem out of the center, about five feet tall, that has a very big, thick, white, beautiful flower on it. But this is a type, this is not indigenous to the area. It's a type of plant that would be put there if somebody were landscaping. It's often put right beside houses and front yards. And even if you look above the watershed here, it looks like there was some very old, what maybe used to be firewood stacked up. So anyway, let me get the metal detector and let's, let's try it again. Okay guys, sorry for the crazy angle, but I've got the camera in a tree. I've been metal detecting now for about 15 minutes since I showed you the well house. I didn't want to have a bunch of dead air time on here, so I just decided I'd wait until the detector went off. And it's done so right here. Hear that? But here's the strange thing. Oh, don't worry, that's a tree limb. Okay, that wasn't something else. But uh, So I was gonna go back to get the shovel to dig here and, and record it, but I started digging around with my fingers and this is kind of odd. I don't think I need to because what is metallic was on the surface. However, it looks like dirt or soil and uh but watch hear the detector going off and that's not for my wedding ring watch Here's more. It's like soil. It's like the soil here is metallic until you pick it up and then the metallicness kind of wears off after it's maybe 10 seconds or so. This is really weird. You know, on second thought, let me get the shovel and let's see if anything's here. I'll record when I get back with the shovel. Okay.
is well, it looks like that's an old maybe an old can that's it all right so I must have just been picking up pieces of the can see how how much it's well I can't see decomposed because it's not organic in nature but it's that's all right let's keep looking if I get any more hits I'll make sure I record so you can see it okay guys I've been going for like another 20 minutes and I'm about ready to stop because it's getting hot I've been finding a lot of garbage so that's why I didn't record I found a couple more cans but we're gonna look in this area right here I've not detected this yet I am right behind the log where we started and this is a strange place in that this is where we found a lot of bones so nothing metallic should show up here but I've never detected it there's a there's an old stone wall there and it looks like a spring coming out from under there so we're just gonna see if we can see or hear or find anything here real quick and then I'm gonna go in and call it a day because it is like almost 95 degrees out here now and these gnats are driving me nuts So guys, I don't know if you heard that or not, this thing went off. It's like I'm picking up what sounds like something metallic coming out. There's a couple holes in the wall, and uh, I'm not all too keen into sticking my hands up into holes in old stone walls on an old abandoned home sites, but I've done it before. I'm going to try it. It's broad daylight. Well, this doesn't surprise me because this isn't the first time we've gotten something like this from out of there. This seems to be almost like it, I, I've almost written it off to raccoons, possums, some kind of small critter that likes to hide his, her, it, or their souvenirs under here. But this is not metallic, so I'm going to go a little further up there. Something was... Okay, this is most peculiar. This is one of my trail cams. I've had two go missing. We've got trail cams all over this place. I've done some trail cam videos, you've probably seen them. I have two that have gone missing and they're not, it's not from anywhere close to the location where I am right now. Yet, I just found this in this hole in this wall. This is most peculiar indeed. Well, that's why this was going off. See? See if the other trail cam's up in there. Ugh. Huh. 
Huh. Wow. The thick plotins. You know what this is? It's not a thermos. This is a lantern that went missing at some point this summer. I thought my son lost it. I thought he's lost a couple lights this summer, like my headlamp, and I found it in a strange place too, not here. And he doesn't come down here. He knows not to. This is most peculiar indeed. Let me see if there's anything else in there. Oh. 